Creating customized web page navigation bars with cascading menus is just a breeze with the Zara Menu Maker. This usually very tricky task takes just a few simple steps to complete in Menu Maker. Click Start to see all of the navbar designs available. You can simply scroll through the choices by clicking the arrows at the top right hand side of the dialog box. Since you are going to add a menu to your navbar, we recommend that you choose a simple design for a more professional look. Now you can edit your graphic by clicking the buttons down the left hand side which will open the editing dialogues. As you make changes, the image will be instantly updated in the preview window, making experimentation very easy. To start creating your custom navbar, you will probably want to change the appearance of the font and the colour of your buttons. So click Text to open the text editing dialog. To change the font, simply select the text to change, then select the new font. The Advanced Text dialog gives complete control over the position of the text, letter spacing and aspect ratio. Changing the colours is just as easy. Simply click Colour, select the part of the graphic to change, then choose the new colours. It's the same procedure for all of the elements of the graphic. All of the changes take place instantly and can be viewed in the preview window. Next, you may want to add some buttons. Change the button text and create some new menus. So click Menus. To create a new button, you simply double click here and type in your button text. A new button will automatically be created. You can do the same to create menus and submenus. At any time, you can rearrange the ordering of the buttons or the menus simply by dragging and dropping them to a new location. Or you can delete them by selecting the button or menu and clicking Delete. You can change the button text by double clicking and simply typing in the new text. URLs, target windows and alt text can be added in the same way. Simply double click and type. The controls for the menu text and behavior are located in the Menu Properties dialog. Here you can set the menu font you can also set the font size, bold or italic, menu spacing, the direction in which the menu will open, how fast it appears, and its transparency. And you can add borders and separators to the menus. Once you have completed the changes to your navbar, it's time to export it. To save your navbar and menus, you just select the Save option. Menu Maker optimizes the graphics to be as small as possible and displays the size in both pixels and kilobytes. The Advanced Save dialog also has options to save the number of colors, dithering and transparency. It's interactive and instant. The size figures and the image all update as the settings are altered. No more trial and error. You can get it exactly as you want it. You can preview your navbar in a browser at this point or simply export it. It will be automatically saved with all of the necessary HTML and JavaScript. And that's it. You've now created your own custom navbar with menus. It took just a couple of minutes and it really looks great.